now, let's get acquainted with our GS platform in more detail. The platform offers courses on mass and critical thinking development for 5th to 9th graders. Every student has a personal account, and in this personal account, all the purchased materials in the form of such bright cards are stored. Each topic consists of classes and, respectively, an entry and a final testing in order for the student to record his or her results quantitatively. Speaking of our lessons, they consist of the theoretical part and the practical one. Here we see the full composition of any of our lessons. It consists of the video lecture, the lecture notes, the examples of tasks part, and all three of these components form the theoretical block. And here we have the practical part, consisting of multiple choice, matching and ordering tasks, error analysis problems, and a part where the students should provide us with their own answers. Some lessons also contain a block of applied problems. So, let us consider how any of our lessons starts. It begins with a brief video lecture, and this lecture is bright, animated. It always features the main character, Geos, who is constantly in a dialogue with the user. Much attention is paid to the applied functions of math and to interdisciplinary connections. By the way, please, pay attention to the duration of the video. For the 5th and 6th grades, it's literally 4 minutes, and for the 7th to 9th grades, these videos are up to 6 minutes. And in addition, the videos are interactive. So you are interrupted by questions to students about every one minute of the lecture. Various research has shown that exactly after this period of time, a certain decline in attention takes place. So, we can stop the video at any time and move on to the next part of the theoretical block, which is our reference educational materials. The next part of the lesson contains examples of tasks block that represent those types of problems that the student will further deal with. And this is where he or she can consider how to solve these problems. Your student can always return to these examples with the help of the progress button. Next, obviously, we are moving on to the practical part, and here the students solve different types of problems and get points. Here you see my own points, so far I haven't been able to get a certain number of them. But anyways, what does the, num uh, the student see after completing all the tasks? Here appears Geos, who congratulates on the ending of the lesson, and accordingly the student can look through all the statistics of the lesson. How many points were scored for testing? How many for matching or ordering tasks? How many points for error analysis? And so on. There is also an opportunity to review the lesson once again, to analyze the mistakes, as well as to improve the results. The student can take the lesson again with different but still quite similar tasks. What do our students actually like about the platform? This way of learning is up to date. They collect their achievements because the platform is gamified. Just congratulate students with each new achievement. Once you have studied for three days in a row, or you have passed your first lesson, and even once you've got your first 100 points, you will get rewarded. In addition, students earn points on the platform, and for these points, they can buy avatars and accordingly change the way they look on the platform. So, currently, I have an avatar of a cat, and I can become, for example, a little witch. Uh, now, I will show where it's visible and where it can be used. Here, when I'm in my personal account, we have a ranking of all users of the platform. So here we can see the top 3, the top 10, and I also see my own rank on the platform. And why do teachers like the platform? If you're interested to find out, please watch Geo's demo of the teacher's dashboard. Mm -hmm.